The North Wales seaside town of Porthmadog had suffered from traffic congestion for many years, with the main A487 road running through the middle of the town. However, in 2009, the then Welsh Assembly Government gave the green light for a £35 million three-mile bypass for the town. A 50-50 joint venture between Balfour Beatty and Jones Brothers Civil Engineering UK was formed to construct the new section of the A487 for the Welsh Government. The long-awaited bypass runs through one of the most visually stunning areas of Wales. Thus the design and the implementation had to be sympathetic and in keeping with the surroundings. Environmental concerns were also at the forefront of everyone's minds and required careful preparation and implementation by the Joint Venture Partnership. Detailed design and construction work by Balfour Beatty and Jones Brothers began in January 2010. In addition to the usual challenges of completing a complex civil engineering project on time and on budget, the joint venture had other significant hurdles. Working in one of the most picturesque areas of Wales and on the outskirts of a town reliant upon tourism, the environmental impact of the work was a major consideration. In addition to frequent consultation with the local community, the joint venture produced a regular bilingual newsletter that was delivered to homes in the area. The newsletter was one effective method of communication, alerting the local population to impending events and road closures, and also giving a behind-the-scenes look at some of the elements of the construction. A dedicated website was set up, detailing project updates and news. A public liaison officer was employed to liaise with local landowners, residents, businesses and road users. An on-site visitor centre provided the public with information. And local newspapers, websites and radio stations were also used to keep the public informed. The biodiversity of the surrounding area was also something that had to be continually considered. The bypass cuts across the flight path of around 350 lesser horseshoe bats. These bats, which are very light averse, use the hedgerow to navigate their way to hunting and roosting grounds. Thus, in collaboration with various stakeholders and agencies, the joint venture built a specially designed bat bridge across the bypass. This enables the bats to cross above the bypass safely, protecting a rare species of bat and maintaining the biodiversity of the area. Another bridge which offered a different sort of challenge was a 140 metre three-span viaduct. This was constructed to carry bypass traffic over the environmentally sensitive Avon Glaslin, running parallel to the existing Cambrian Coast mainline railway. In April 2011, one of the biggest cranes in Europe was brought in to lift and install nine steel beams in a carefully planned sequence over several weeks. Weighing 630 tonnes, the crane is one of only three of its kind in Europe. Following consultation with the Environment Agency, the Countryside Council for Wales and other stakeholders, a temporary causeway was constructed to allow movement of materials across the river before the completion of the permanent bridge. Rock from the adjacent Minford Quarry was transported in 70 tonne dump trucks and placed in the riverbed, progressively working out from the east bank. The causeway was also extended to provide a working platform to construct the permanent bridge. Today, over 10,000 vehicles a day use this viaduct to cross the river. With the Avon Glaslin viaduct in place, the summer of 2011 was spent completing all the final surfacing and boundary works. In October 2011, Carl Sargent, the Welsh Government Minister responsible for transport, opened the Portmallow Bypass, on budget and seven weeks ahead of schedule. The joint venture of Balfour Beatty and Jones Brothers brought relief from traffic congestion to the citizens of Portmallow, 
while preserving the natural environment and biodiversity in the surrounding area.